brothers and sisters, what's going on? One of the first astrological signs is cancer. And we're going into Taurus, all right? Um, thank you guys for, for you watching my video. Let's see. Um, thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you all for subscribing. For subscribing as well as I want to thank um, the rest of y'all. The rest of y'all I want to thank. Um, thank you to Silent Night. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, also, I want to thank Carl Langfield, if he's still subscribed. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny Ashley. Thank you. This is a beaut. All right. Let's get to the message here. Um, thank you all. So... We're dealing with a, your side. What you're talking about is cancer. Cancer is at. Cancer is from June 20th. Let me make sure here. June 20th is from June 20th to July 22nd. It's supposed to be under a 28-day cycle. A two-day cycle. Let me get this to skip. Officious, which is their dragon. If you're going to do the months right, it's supposed to be 13 months. At the end of what you call it, 12 months, you have 28 days left. 28, 30 days left. It's supposed to be 28 days left. And this calendar year, they purposely pushed out, pushed out Ephesius constellation, dragon constellation, but cancer from June 21st to July 25th. Now what's most important is that you... Go back from the time you exit the womb. In cancer constellation it goes is where our planet is. It's how it travels. It's where our planet is. Each month represents each planet. The lunar cycle, twenty day, eight day cycle. The moon's actually moving the planet around the galaxy. Because the moon cycles every twenty eight days. The moon is literally moving the planet. Um Thank you all for subscribing. What's happening here is our plan is a convergence with certain star systems. So in this month here, which is June, which is June 25th to July 22nd, get June 20. The it's moon, moon's moved to the planet, the Cancer star system. When you go back, you go June, you go September, December, June. So you conceived in September. September would be the Libra Zodiac. So let's go to the Libra Zodiac. Libra Zodiac side. Libra Zodiac side is in the air. Cancer is in the water element. You see, you were born under the air element. That won't be right. That won't be right. It won't be right at all. Um, won't be Libra. Let's see, September, October, we're gonna go, um, October, September, October, June, July, August. Um, it'll be August. It'll be August 20th, because August and September 20th, April, May, that would be under September, which would be Libra. Be Libra, all right. What's before Libra? Leo's before Libra. If I'm right, September, August. I'm doing this first in time now. There's a certain amount of this information here. Um, the August zodiac. August 23rd to September 22nd, Leo, which is um, July 23rd at 22nd. So we'll be the Leo sign. 
It could be August 20th, the June 20th. That could be August, it could be September, it would be September, okay? It would be September, which is Libra. The Libra Zodiac is an Earth element. It's an air element. So, you have been conceived under the air element. Honestly, the Libra, which means that you have been born under the energy of Venus, which means Venus is a convergence with our planet at that time. You have to be these planets move around, so things will be in convergence with our planet. That makes you would have been conceived under the Libra constellation. You during that period would exited the gateway of the womb. You've exited the womb under the Cancer constellation, which is the water sign. Okay, so this is important for you to understand. I see under the Libra, as we go on September 22nd, which within that area, within, it would be Leo. It would be somewhere within Leo and Libra, because you're just leaving the Leo constellation and the Libra constellation. <clears throat> it could be Leo. This is the whole thing about it. You got to find out. Got to try to pinpoint the date of conception, which would probably would have been um, Leo eighth, which is an Earth sign. We got to go Leo zodiac, which is an Earth sign. The lure of Leo is the sun. Talk about a galactic sun. Our planet would have been closer in convergence to our galactic sun. This is when you're talking about August. When the planets were close to their galactic sun. It's extremely hot. That's when you're close to the galactic sun under Leo. And Leo is a fire helmet, water and fire. Leo is from July 22nd to August 22nd. Um, I'm a Scorpio and I go by nine months. Uh, nine months i'm under the uh i think sagittarius i was conceived under the fires that's the water sign it's all about duality i was conceived in a water sign you see you were cancer and you conceived august 20th with it maybe nine months from there you would have been you would have exited the womb of the gateway of womb 20th let's find out which one i am all right so i was con I was born October 27th, so I was conceived nine months before that. So October's the nine months, so I've been conceived in January. All right, I would have been conceived in January. So that means I'm originally a, I'm either an Aquarius or a Capricorn, okay? Because I don't know the exact date I was conceived, but it's got to be, it's got to be around there somewhere. It's got to be around there somewhere. All right, yeah, so I'm an Aquarius, all right? I'm an Aquarius. I might be a Capricorn, okay, because who God knows when I was conceived. It's, it's almost nine months exactly. All right, it's just interesting about it. You talk about a cancer, because under the cancer symbol, I'm a Capricorn. And I was born under, uh, if you're born on June 20th, I'm not, but I was, bo was, I was born on, you will have been, I'm a, conceived under Leo constellation, but if you were, came out your mother's womb, June 25th, 26th, 27th, July 1st, you will come under the Libra constellation. You got to do your nine months to see when you were conceived because nine months is actually nine months. It's actually on point. Here's another thing. Before we get it, go under that, I was conceived under the Capricorn. I might have been, I've been, I was conceived under the Capricorn Aquarius. All right. I was conceived probably under Aquarius. All right. And I was I was conceived during Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, not the age of Aquarius, but under the constellation Aquarius. Then I was born. I came out the womb under Scorpio, Aquarius and Scorpio. I'm pretty sure Aquarius is a water sign, and I'm no Scorpio is like a water sign. The premature child. Find out if your parents are premature, six month child, five month child. That means you had to be born. You had to come out under a certain constellation. You had to 
come out under certain constellations. It's entirely necessary. That's why you were pre-born, premature. Because you're looking at ancestral energies, you're looking at cosmic forces, you're looking at planetary alignment or planets aligned with the constellations. It's all different types of attributes you're looking at. So this is important for you to understand from the time of your conception, from the time you exited the womb. Let's just say you came out your mother's womb on October 27th. That means you were conceived on uh, January 27th, which would be under the, which would be under which would be under the uh, Aquarius constellation. Your Leo is a retrograde. Your Leo constellation is a retrograde, which means you have to get into the point you were first conceived under the Leo constellation, which is a fire element. And this is the fire water. This is why sometimes it'd be like that Cancer is acting like a Leo, that Taurus is acting like a Leo, that Scorpio is acting like Aquarius. You're conceived under a constellation. It plays an important role in your entire life. You talk about duality, fire and water. Or ether. <laughs> if you're under the Libra constellation, Libra is air and water. You'd be under the Libra constellation and you came out a certain time. You're looking at you were conceived under the air element. Okay? And you were born under the water element, so you could tap into fire and water. <laughs> In Leo constellation, you can talk about detriment, what weakens you. And never have some of us who seem like they kind of pulled the energies being pulled from them. That means that we're in the virgins with another planet. That's your detriment. Which for, for, um, let's go back to cancer. <coughs> we know cancer. <laughs> Everyone knows cancer as well. The sign is the detriment from cancer. So sometimes you feel like something is pulling on your energy. The whole freaking months are pulling on me. Saturn is your detriment, which means Saturn weakens you. Why does it weaken you? Because of the magnetic force of Saturn. It's all about energy. Is you um for cancer? Your sign is the moon. The sign is the moon, which means you have you're moody. They're really really moody. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Cancer, it's probably the moon. You're going the moon sign, which means you become very emotional. Why so emotional with the cancer? But because Saturn is a like a light energy of a, like an energy of the moon. What, what happens? I mean, convergence, our planets in convergence with Saturn. You know, the star system is a uh, convergence with another planet. Something's pulling on my spirit. It's because you're in convergence with now. You're in convergence with Saturn. Now you're in convergence with Saturn. Saturn's pulling on you. It's wakening you. But when we're in uh, convergence with Z Jupiter, you're like, wow, you feel like this burst of energy. You feel like, oh, I'm doing so good. And you're in convergence with Jupiter. you got to know when you're in convergence. So you have to go into a planetary chart to see when, when you're in convergence with different planets. And what March is a planet in convergence with Jupiter? What, may what month is your... Because Saturn weakens you. You know why you've been pulled on. There's nobody doing this. It's all planetary celestial. It's just pulling on me. It's going on with Jupiter, your exploitation. Jupiter strengthens you. Let's see. You have a, a point here. Hold on. It also has a point when nothing can go wrong or right at all. What's going on? Nothing can go right at all. This is because you're with Cancer and convergence with Mars, and Mars literally is what he cut the net detriment. The detriment is weakened, but Mars is the point where you fall. When that month you're in convergence with Mars, you need to figure out when the Atlantic versus Mars. This month, I, everything always goes wrong for me. That's why you need to strengthen yourself. Mm -hmm. Go deeper in your meditation, go deeper in yourself. Um, your water is a water sign. In Cancer, you go back and see if you can see it in the fire sign and in the air sign. You see where you're conceived, so you can also tap into that uh, back energy and that Libra well with that wet retrograde. So water things would mean um, you get an aerial water. Water strengthens you, empower you because you're a Cancer. Because you're gonna go to Taurus. It's a lot of time on this right here. Spend a lot of time thinking about this. So, Taurus, um, thank you, all the people that subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, um, let's see. Taurus is a Venus real sign. 
which but thank you minimal tech lovers for subscribing it shows a lot of caring for others those who are Taurus are very sexual those who are Taurus they actually look for a partnership in sexuality Taurus can tap into that feminine energy and ravage just like cancer the moon is a feminine energy cancer you tap into that detrimental power you can push that lunar energy thank you minimal tech lovers for subscribing it's important to understand when you're in convergence with the when taurus is those who in taurus are born under the womb <laughs> in convergence with venus which means when you talk about taurus my day came with me uh october 27th I would fall under the Scorpio, which is is water. Scorpio is a water sign, which means Scorpio is my uh, uh, water is my retrograde energy. I got everything with water. I have a thing with water. I like water because I was conceived under a water sign. I was conceived under uh, Aquarius, so the detriment. Is under this ruler sign. We're talking about Venus, which you know, do Taurus. Be very caring, nurturing. Taurus can can they want to be loved with partnership? Looking for a lifetime connection with the opposite. That's Taurus. That can be Scorpio too. That's whole Venus energy. The detriment of Taurus is Mars. It's traditionally as Mars. Now it's Pluto, which means there is a there is a um. A like energy within Pluto and Mars. Thank you, new minimal tech. Sorry if I messed up your name. Which means there's an energy. Thank you guys so much. There's an energy that is within Mars or within Pluto that weakens my with someone's vessel. So that's why it feels like nothing goes right. You got. That's why you need to go to planetary charts. Our planets converse with Pluto, Mars. I gotta go to meditation, strengthen myself so I can be able to get through that point. There's no planet that cause, causes some people to fall sometimes. Because sometimes you're just depressed. Even though Pluto weakens because of light forces. <sighs> My exhortation for Taurus is the moon. Which, you know, I love being up in the moon. Because the moon is the exhortation. I love being in the moon. This is important for you to understand. What we're going to do is each of these lessons, they're going to be a total of six lessons all together, 12 zodiacs. We're not going to go there yet. This is um, uh, the energy. This is where we're supposed to be. Do you look at a Taurus constellation? Now our plan around this time here is in a Taurus constellation. Now I know why I feel like something's pulling on me because we're in convergence. Our planet's in convergence with one of the planets. You can do your own um, research. We'll talk more about this right here. You can look on your zodiac on Wikipedia what cause, what exalts you and what causes you to fall. What causes you to fall into a state of depression. You go into a state of depression. That's because we're in convergence with certain planets that don't feed our energies all right then you got your detriment where you're slightly weakened and you feel like this pull on you that's convergence with certain planets pluto and the other planets nothing really pulls on me anymore i've tapped into pluto and pluto charges me up i think but you can change it and tap into all the plants and link into the plants my excitation is i don't know I'm going to have to do more research. But Taurus's excitation is the moon. And there's other signs we're going to look into. We're going to go deeper. Like I said, if you're a premature child, you can not find out from your parents, your mother, your father, how long are you in the womb. So you know when you were conceived, the time when you were conceived, you know what a retrograde is. So Cancer's retrograde is going to be Leo. Or Le Libra, Taurus retrograde. Taurus retrograde is going to be Le Libra or Leo. The cancer Leo. You can't be conceived of the cancer, which is water. What can be conceived in a Leo, which is Taurus of the Earth. Something for all of you to think about. Something for you all to think about. We're going to get deeper in some other things dealing with the zodiacs. Cardinal effects, the immutable. You're going to get that a little later. Just want to give you guys a clear answer to some things you're going to. Why is I feeling so suicidally depressed? Why am I so lonely? Because you got a retrograde and you got a point where you come out of the womb. 
it's important to understand because you can't go in the retrograde sign, which is sign you are conceived. So with that, I catch you guys later. All power to multi chakra celestial angelic beings may chaos with you reign forever and ever. And those who of you that have subscribed, thank you so much for your subscription. And those for you who are in the future, thank you as well. Much power to you all.